we have a tremendous number of companies who wish to invest in Barbados. I think many of them were deferring that decision mm -hmm. to try and see what was going to happen, will be going to devalue, uh, what, what was going to happen in the economy. And now we're seeing uh, that uh, pick up. Indeed, uh, we were looking the other day, um, the amount of, of real investments that uh, we have in the hotel sector are enough to double our room stock. And so I was wow. pushing the officials to saying, you know, do we need more investments in tourism? Do we need um, a different type of investments than some of the names, the, some of the brands that are coming? And they were saying, no, what we need is to make sure that those companies who say they're interested, who are genuine real, actually come. And so it's the job of government to facilitate and not to get in the way of those things. We have to do our town and country planning, our environmental impact assessment. We have to do these things in a predictable, transparent, timely way that we can really grasp those investments and bring them home because they are there. We don't need to go and find new ones and drum up new business. We have investments. The gain is to bring them home. Agreed. Um, and along those lines, though, uh, in fairness, this was before the change in government. But one of the things that I'm aware that investors were concerned about, apart from the exchange rate itself and the potential for devaluation, which is why a lot of them, as you rightly said, uh, were on hold waiting for the shoe to drop, um, is the whole idea of the foreign exchange regime, foreign exchange controls, because, you know, investing in a country and getting returns is one thing, being able to repatriate profits is another thing. Can you share with us any, um, any news, any, any insights on how that will be managed, if there will be any amendments to the foreign exchange regime and the controls? Well, of course, the spirit of our existing exchange controls is that if you're a foreign investor and you invest, you can get your returns out. Uh, but mm -hmm. the nature of exchange controls is such that when the money was leaking out all over, partly because we were effectively printing cash, yeah. which caused the reserves to collapse, then the central bank and exchange control officers became much more restrictive. And right. so investors rightly became concerned that they yeah. seem to be trouble getting their money out. And if there's trouble getting my money out, why am I investing? Um, so now we, in the long run, wish to move to a world where we can remove our exchange controls. Okay. But we know that that requires us to make sure our competitiveness is right and that our reserves have sufficient buffers for the kind of shocks that small countries face. And so mm -hmm. let me end by pointing out that one of the benefits of uh, the uh, IMF um, backing of uh, BERT, of uh, Juan Carlos's backing uh, with the IDB and with the CDB, is that we're probably going to end up with a $500 million of new foreign currency coming from the official sector. So uh, in Barbados dollars, our reserves go from around 400 today uh, to around um, $1.4 billion. And if that helps to catalyze new investments, then, and we're heading towards the $2 billion mark, we will feel more comfortable about further relaxations of our exchange controls. $2 billion US or Bajan? $2 billion Bajan. Um, and I think that okay. we may go back first to the spirit of our exchange controls, uh, which is that people who bring money in can take it out. But, um, uh, you know, people who are bringing money in and to put that money in an investment that's generating foreign exchange, when they take their money out, they're not actually taking, draining the system because exactly. they've brought that money and they've created new money. So we need to firstly get back to the spirit of our exchange controls, which is encouraging that investment. And before we can start thinking about dismantling the structure, we, we are not going to do it in any rushed or rashed way. The country okay. is going through a tough adjustment in order to protect our peg. And we're not going to endanger the peg. 